Okay. So I guess I'm taking the, the little scoot today. Um, I cranked it up a little bit earlier to make sure that it still turns on. It feels so small. I know, I know. I get the joke too. But, um, no, in all seriousness, this little 300 feels like an actual scoot scoot. Whereas my 600 always feels a little bit more like driving a car. This one's so short that I can just flat foot it, walk it around without an issue. The engine is quiet, and it definitely feels a little bit more like just riding a scooter. I don't know how I ever crashed this bike. Where am I going? Oh, let's just go this way. So funny to drive. Um, yeah, so anyway, as I get over the, um, the differences between the R3 and the CBR, um, of which there are many, uh, I am on my way to meet some friends for brunch. So that's kind of a good thing. I, um, I spent all day yesterday out in the sunshine um, at the College of Engineering and I don't know if you can tell or not but I got a really decent sunburn out of the deal um, It's been a long couple of days. I woke up with a throbbing headache this morning, probably from dehydration yesterday, but I think I downed eight or nine bottles of water standing outside. So I should have been hydrated, but part of me thinks maybe I wasn't. Um, Realistically, I wasn't even really thinking about leaving the house today, um, but I got a call about um, whether or not we were actually going to meet for brunch this morning, because that had been the plan, and uh, I completely forgot about it. And it turns out, yeah, okay, sure, I need to get out for a ride anyway, um, you know, I want to see my friends, so it'll be good for me to get out of the house. This little thing is so much fun. Um, I kind of completely forgot how much fun it can be to, um, you know, rev this little 300cc on a 45 mile an hour road, no less. It definitely does not have the takeoff power of my 600, which I find amusing. There was a period where I thought maybe it was just me not being able to keep up. Um, but this thing really doesn't have the power. What is there to talk about? So I went and did the land surveying demonstration yesterday at the College of Engineering. I was considering playing airsoft today, but 
honestly wearing clothes makes my sunburn hurt. I can't imagine wearing all of my airsoft gear as well as getting shot um, by BBs at this point. Mostly it's just my shoulders and my neck. I did put sunscreen on, for those of you that are like, well, you should have worn sunscreen. Uh, I did, in fact, put sunscreen on, um, but I didn't reply, reapply every couple of hours. I just put it on in the morning, so it didn't last. Oh my goodness, the lights in Tallahassee. I think I've ranted about this before. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So anyway, yeah, uh, not a whole lot of stories to tell. I'm glad to finally be back on the bike, even if it is my little R3. I probably need to check my mirrors and make sure that my cat ears are still on. I feel, yeah, no, I feel both of them. Um, they are not actually providing very much wind resistance. Uh, you know, it's kind of like anything else. You can feel them. I can also feel my camera uh, when it's on and when it's not. So yeah, I mean, it's there, but it's not like jerking my head around or anything. and two excedrin for my headache, which means I'm jacked up on caffeine and have had no substance. I had Chinese food last night, which, you know, is what it is. It sounds good in the moment, and then I always regret it afterwards. choices in this town. Like that one, for instance.
It's a beautiful day. I'm just glad to be outside. I guess I'm going to check the parking uh, at this restaurant. It's called the Wilbury. Um, really, 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 really yummy breakfast, um, brunch foods. Uh, it's 12.30ish, around about the 12.30 hour now. Um, yeah, 12.31. And um, so really good brunch. Uh, they do a breakfast skillet. But the thing that I almost always get is, are the, um, the fried green tomato BLT bites. And they are so yummy. Um, but 12.30, we'll see how parking is. They only have a few spaces actually out in front of their restaurant. And then they have some across the street. And then they have some down the street. But we will see how it goes. I'm hoping that there's one in the parking lot. So I don't have to walk a mile to get there. But we shall see. Oh, I can see there's nothing in there, just being here. So we're going to go on around. Let's see what we can find up here. We're parking over there. No parking there. And the Ferrari parking. You see that. I don't know. Where am I supposed to park? I can't park in front of a fire hydrant. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Can I park back here? Is this an okay place to park? There's a construction site there. Yeah, don't park outside of this place. That's probably not good. Hmm. Oh, around the block. They're supposedly parking across the street. I didn't check that. Three hours later. I think it's all right if I park over here. We're going to hope it's okay. So, I am on my way home from brunch. It was yummy, as always. I took a small detour on the way back to go check out some sites that I don't normally see in Tallahassee. Very bumpy roads. Well, I know it was a fairly short video this time, guys, but um, I hope that you found it interesting nonetheless, and hopefully I'll be able to get out more this week and actually get some more videos done. Uh, I might look at recording several rides and then stitching the footage together instead of just trying to do it one ride at a time. Uh, that might make for some more entertaining video if I can find some more interesting things to go out and do. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the funny papers.